Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble and I'm here with your readings for uh, January the 21st through January the 27th. Um, if you haven't been here before, welcome. I'm so happy that you found me and I really hope you enjoy these readings. And um, and if, if they don't resonate with you, first of all, it's for your sun, moon and rising. And I put all the links to the other videos below. And... Um, and if you don't, if nothing resonates with you this week, it might by the end of the week. That's usually what happens. Um, and if not, come back because there are messages in there. These are general readings, guys. And I get quite a few emails um, asking me, you know, 911 urgent. I need to know this. I need to know that. A personal reading. I spend like three days putting these meetings, these readings together. And this is for the community. For It's a general reading and there are specific messages in there, perhaps for you or for someone. My team of spirit guides bring those messages in and I give those to the community for those who can't afford readings. But if you need personal information, then please go to my website and purchase um a personal reading. I can't give free readings all week. You know, I can't. Much as I'd love to, I also have to, you know, eat and pay the rent and do things like that. And um, so if you'd like a personal reading, click on this video, uh, this link right here. It'll take you to my website and to the shop and you can see what kind of readings. I have a special offer, guys, this week. Um, I think I'm doing it for two weeks. Um, it's on special offer. It's the uh, 2019 uh, reading. So it's a reading for the whole year, right? I'm also including in that a natal delineation. Um, so this reading, the value is $325. Uh, and just for two weeks, I'm I'm uh, offering that at 150. So if you're interested in that, go to my website. Um, the link is up here. You can always click on that. And um and for those of you who just would like to support me, um, I, you know, I did lose my job recently, so I don't have any income other than what you guys are going to, uh, you know, get purchase a reading. That's the only way uh, I get some income recently. And I didn't get any for, uh, you know, the period over Christmas and New Year's because, you know, I was mourning. But I'm out of that now. I feel great. And... Um, so if you would like to support me for as little as a dollar a, a month, which is $12 a year, guys, <laughs> you know, if everybody did that, I would be doing really well because I am working on a book. I don't want to kind of uh, put out there exactly what it is, but it's kind of exciting. And um, and that link is up here too. You can check out my Patreon. I do post some articles on there that I don't offer um, anywhere else as well. And there's a, levels of tiers you know, uh, for rewards. I'm going to redo all those also. So anyway, without further ado, let's go in. I want to talk about what's just the aspects that we'll be discussing. Um, if you're coming back, sorry, I didn't even say that. Welcome back. And I really, really appreciate you. Thank you for all the new subscribers, the likes, the comments and the shares. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, and at the very least, guys, if you can't afford anything, just share it and comment and like and do all that. That really helps me too. I really appreciate that. It's a, an exchange of energy, isn't it? Um so uh, what's happening? Listen, this is a really brilliant time. All the planets are going direct right now until March the 5th. And then uh, Mercury goes retrograde on March the 5th. But we have all planets moving forward. Darling, nothing can stop you now. If you want to start something new, do it. If you want to start a line of study or, you know, take some lessons for, you know, I, that study is lessons, right? Um, start your life purpose. Go on that, uh, you know, journey. Whatever it is that you want to do something new, start a business, you know, start whatever it is you want to start. Now is a really good time to do that. Um, so the aspects we'll be talking about of course, I covered it last week is the Monday, um, the total lunar eclipse, right, which was really happening Sunday night, Monday morning. Um, and I, I, go, I go into everything on your horoscope. So also we'll be talking about on Monday as well, 
Mars is square to Saturn. I'm looking over here because I have the uh, chart over here. So um, if you're wondering what I'm looking at. So now Tuesday, we have Venus conjunct Jupiter. Wednesday, Mercury square Uranus. And uh, Thursday, Mercury moves into Aquarius. Um, whenever a planet changes uh, signs, a lot you know, there's a lot of energy around that. And on Friday, Mars trines Jupiter. So now we, uh, I'll go into all that in your horoscopes before the tarot reading. And um, so I hope you enjoy. And uh, let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your reading for January the 21st through January the 27th. And Thank you. Thank you for being the second most watched video uh, on YouTube. I am so grateful to you guys. You're always up there and I really appreciate your loyalty. Um, so now I'm going to be um, shuffling your cards while I give you your horoscope. So I'm really going to touch on the lunar eclipse again. I know I did last week. Those of you who haven't joined and didn't see last week's, I couldn't not mention it. You're going to get this up. It's Saturday. I'm, I'm recording this. So you'll get it up. You'll definitely see it. I'm hoping to get it up tonight before midnight. I'm going to, uh, you're the third one I'm recording right now because I had to record Sagittarius because I didn't put them up at all last week. It was technical issues. Anyway, so Pisces, um, the total lunar eclipse is happening on Sunday night. It starts at 11.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're in on the uh, Pacific, <laughs> I can't even say it, Pacific Coast, um, it's 8.41. And it peaks at 12.41 a.m. Sorry, 12.15 a.m. on a Monday morning. And it goes on to uh, culminate or it finishes at 12.44, at least, you know, where it's visible. I mean, of course, it goes on either side of it, you know, and we're feeling it now, even on Saturday. But you can view it at those times. If you're in England, it is 4.41 a.m. it starts and it peaks at 5.15 and uh, finishes at 5.44 a.m. So if you're over there, then get up and go and see it because we don't have another total lunar eclipse until the year, uh, until May 26, 2021. I have an article on it on my blog. If you want to check it out on my website, go to, you know, uh, live in the solution.com. Go to my uh, blog and there's an article on the um, total lunar eclipse. It gives you more information, technical information on it if you want to look at it. Now, the eclipse will illuminate something that's been hidden for you. Um, so it could be, look, it could be about your health or it could be at work. Um, you'll not be able to look, it's going to force you to look, the eclipses force you to look at things that aren't working in your life. It, it forces you to address areas that you have not addressed. Um, and you you just can't deny it any longer. And if someone or something, it could be that it's someone or something that impacts your daily life or your routines. It may manifest in a change of a job even. Um, or even how you earn your living. So you could be going, you could be starting a new business. And listen, all the planets are going direct. This is fantastic to start anything new. It's exciting. Uh, everything's going direct until March the um, 5th when Mercury goes retrograde. Um, so what else is going on? I'm looking over here because this is your chart right here. This could, yeah, the, the eclipse could manifest in a in a new job or how you earn your living. Some There's some change going on for you, Pisces. Now, on the same day, on Monday, uh, Mars square is square to Saturn. Now, this is kind of like the Mars is the planet of action and Saturn is the planet of restriction and rules and uh, I don't want to say suspicion restraint almost. So it's like you're having the urge to get up and go out and start something, but you may be indecisive or not kind of won't be able to make your mind up of what you, what or indeed when you want to do it. 
So um, there may be delays at work kind of thing, or I think you may have issues with a team member at work. Um, do your best to be a team player this week for sure, because I think when you you're going to flurry you, there look there's definitely issues with everyone kind of um this week in relationships or ways of you know bursting out mars plays a big um mars is impulsive as well right and you could say things that you might regret later so um if you're able to deal with a situation at work as the team you'll come out on top if you're able to deal with it diplomatically so really, when you know this energy is coming and you can be aware of it, you can hold yourself back and, you know, um, have some self-discipline. Now, Tuesday, Venus con is conjunct Jupiter. Look, this is this is when the two energies come together and Jupiter is bigger, better, more. Venus is love, relationships, finance. So you have um, where it falls for you. It's like you have these lovely friends or colleagues who will help you in some way. Hallelujah, God, help. Uh, help and magnanimous friends are, are, are on their way. So that's a really lovely relationship for you. Uh, sorry, energy for you. And oh, let me see. I, I do this and then I forget. I'm supposed to. I stopped. Um, shuffling the cards what before I got on screen I wanted to do it while I was doing the uh, horoscope so now Thursday you Mercury moves into Aquarius and whenever a sign moves into another whenever a planet moves into another sign it really changes the energy so Mercury um, is joining the Sun in your 12th house of confinement so you may be feeling uh, kind of trapped in some way or restricted in some way but this is an illusion it's in your head it's way it's what you're thinking it's not necessarily what's actually happening this is all I always think of that uh, this energy as the eight of swords right the eight of air it's where you're in your head and you don't see a way out because you're kind of on a loop I always call that like a you know mental glitch kind of thing now i'm also doing i would really love it if you'd give me feedback uh, in the comment section because um i'm i'm asking people if they enjoy the horoscope before the readings or if you just want the readings darling i'm totally okay if you just want the readings because this is a lot of work i have to write all these notes it takes me an extra day sometimes a day and a half to do the horoscope aspect to this um to these readings so let me know if you want me to continue i'm totally fine if you want me to let this go and just do the cards just let me know okay so now where are we um thursday um so friday mars trines jupiter now this is like inspired you're inspired and energized to get to work and at work um perhaps you work for yourself so you're really kind of you have that energy and that impetus to get up and do things and it's like you know finally unblocked kind of thing um so it's it's really the energy is a positive mindset and it's helping you to get things done and it feels like the sky is the limit right now and also again helpful people at work um so it looks like there's a lot of help coming in for you now uh, let's do the clarification and go to your uh, tarot cards. What do we have here? Very interesting. Okay, so let's, this is for Pisces. Please clarify these cards for this coming week. Pisces, please clarify. That's it. Oh, Okay. And this is lovely. I love this. Oh, that's it. Oh, lovely. And clarify. Oh, there it is. Oh, you got two there. Okay, lovely. Pisces, the first card out for you is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is like, look, 
or like really seeing the riches and your hard work paying off it's like the thing is sometimes with this it's it's like you're really seeing it and you're kind of seeing long-term potential. So you are judging your income on what's coming in right now and um, assuming it's going to be like that forever kind of thing. And that's what I'm getting. So um, I'm, I'm really getting that you like it's wonderful and it's great. You're making money and it's exciting. Um, but I'm getting don't hold off on kind of spending right now because the urge is for you to um, spend the money and perhaps invest it too too soon. Some, you know, have you seen how many businesses have gone under when they've invested too much too soon? So this is saying, oh, this is wonderful. Yes, celebrate, but don't go over the top and don't over, um, don't overspend. So do it in a small way. A bottle of wine or a bottle of champagne is fine, but don't throw a party and don't start spending and, and investing in the company too soon. That's what this is saying. And look, clarifying it is the hanged man. This The hanged man is number 12, right? One and two is three. It's about Jupiter. It's about expansion. That's the, that's the number of expansion. But this is saying, look at it from a different perspective. So maybe you need to kind of really put the money away that's coming in right now because there could be a space of time that it, you may not get that money in um, and you may need to um, uh, budget uh, in those times. So I don't want to say I'm getting saved for a rainy day. That's what I'm getting. The the hanged man is someone, there's a pause in action. So you could get a pause in action at some point. And if you do, you need to be prepared for that. So don't go out and just, you know, I've done that before. I was earning all this money and I was spending it and more. And then, you know, just assuming that I, that this money was going to perhaps get more and more and more and it didn't it got less and less and less <laughs> oh dear and I did not look at it from a different perspective and so you know it would have been nice I consult my cards a hell of a lot more than I used to um so this well that was many many years ago as well so but this is you know taking a you know you've got an opportunity to look at this from a different direction that's what it is. This could be, you know, looking at investments too. Um, now, you have the world as the next card. I love the world because the world is saying you have all this wonderful knowledge and wisdom and experience under your belt now, right? And you can go in a totally different direction and the universe is going to support you in whatever changes you want to make. Um, and this is so perfect for the eclipse, right? Because this is about, you come out of eclipses sometimes as a completely different person. It's almost like a snake that sheds its skin, right? You're slothing off, you're becoming a new, brand new person. And you've got, look, you've got clarifying, it. you've got the king of earth. It's like manifestation. He's about Look, this is a look, he is affluent. He's he loves luxurious and um possessions and he loves opulence. Um but he's not afraid to work hard. He kind of understands that you need look. He could have all his subjects working in the field, right? And you'll be riding by on your horse and cart one day and you'll see him with his sleeves rolled up and his hands in the dirt. He's not afraid of hard work. He actually understands that you, in order to get that affluence and those luxurious possessions that he likes to surround himself with, that he's got to work hard and he's okay with it. So this is saying this change won't be handed to you on a silver platter. It's something that you have to work hard at. And... The next card is the magician. It's saying you have everything you need to create the life that you desire, Pisces. You have, um, the magician has, he appears to have nothing and creates something brilliant out of nothing. My nose spirit's here, right? So he, what he does is he really has the four elements, which is really what all of us have. Air to breathe, right? Uh, water. 
which to drink, to feed ourselves, and to f and then we've got earth, which we grow our food. The water will feed our food, right? For, uh, enable it to grow. And we have fire, you know, to keep us warm, passion, and to cook the food. We only need those elements. That's it. And we can create the life that we desire. You've got the magician, darling. And then underneath it, you've got two cards. I'm loving these cards. You've got the star card. I love the star card. This is a healing coming in for you, Pisces. This is a healing spiritually, emotionally, and physically. You are changing, I mean, in such a profound way. And the star card comes in because the star She's going to spread starlight where there was once darkness and she's going to illuminate your path forward. You won't be confused to which direction it's like you. And right next to it is the king of fire, right? Like the king of wands, the king, the king of fire. He is, look at this. I think of almost Leo because he's got the sun behind him and he's got the heart right there. So he's heart centered. When he is heart-centered and spiritually guided, he is one of the best leaders. But if he's self-centered and, and just out to help himself and he gets bored very easily and he's not, he, does, he only thinks of himself, if he does that, then he's not a good leader. So this is definitely saying be spiritually grounded, really, you know, really follow your faith. Be in faith. Follow spirit. Um, and this is so clear to me. Um, you have this wonderful opportunity that may not feel so, this change may not feel as um, as easy, but actually it's a lot easier than a lot of, uh, a lot of readings. So this is a wonderful opportunity. Embrace the change, Pisces. Go with it. Know that this is just a wonderful... Uh, when you're in the moment and you're just guided by spirit, there's no fear. There's no fear because you know that things... You're not going... To, look, God wants us to have the best possible life. So there's no fear when you trust in your faith, in your, in your belief system. Pisces, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all your views. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media. If nothing resonated with you, it might by the end of the week. And if not, come back because there may be messages in the next one for you. Um, so I really appreciate your feedback and your and your opinion on, on the readings. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah, I love you all and I'll see you next week.